Kansas just used its last timeout. He backed off as well. Wow. Stayed with second. that one. Stayed Kansas with that one. has made only two threes on the night. They must make one here to extend the game. Collins driving, almost lost the handle. Chalmers for the tie. Got it for two seconds. Unbelievable. Okay, here we have the picture of Mario Chalmers right here at six foot three, shooting the basketball from here into the basket at ten foot. Now what we're going to do is take the position function that we learned in physics, and we're going to use it to calculate how high Mario's shot went and how much time. Okay, here we have the position function from physics. S of t equals negative one half times the, gra the force of gravity, t squared, plus the original velocity, times t, plus the original position. Now, S of t equals negative one half, force of gravity is 9.8, so that would be 9.8 t squared, plus the original velocity of the basketball, which would equal 10, times t, plus the original height of the player shooting the basketball, which in this case is six foot three, but in meters it is 1.09. Okay, so the derivative, the S prime of T will equal, take that two, that would be negative 9.8 T plus 10. To find the maximum height of the basketball, uh, to find the time of the maximum height of the basketball, we set the derivative equal to zero. And then you just solve the equation. So t equals 1.09.